What is the function of the reproductive system? The function of the reproductive system is to produce new offspring. The reproductive system is essential for the survival of the species and guarantees the continuity of the human species. What is the modified Merck Alley scale? The modified Merck Alley scale is a means of measuring the INTE side of an earthquake. Unlike the Richter scale, which uses mathematical calculation to measure seismic waves, the modified Merck Alley scale uses the effects of an earthquake on the people and structures in a given area to determine its intensity. It was invented by Giuseppe Mercalli, 1850 to 1914, in 1902 and modified by Harry Wood, 1879 to 1958. And Frank Newman in the 1930s to take into consideration such modern inventions as the automobile and the skyscraper. The modified Mercalli scale only felt by a few under especially favorable circumstances. Felt only by a few sleeping persons, particularly on upper floors of buildings. Some suspended objects may swing. Felt quite noticeably indoors. Especially on upper floors of buildings, but may not be recognized as an earthquake. Standing automobiles may rock slightly. Vibration like passing of truck. During the day felt indoors by many. Outdoors by few. At night some awakened. Dishes, windows, doors disturbed, walls make creaking sound. Sensation like heavy truck striking building. Standing automobiles rocked noticeably. Felt by nearly everyone many awakened. Some dishes, windows, and so on broken, cracked plaster in a few places, unstable objects overturned. Disturbances of trees, poles, and other tall objects sometimes noticed. Pendulum clocks may stop. Felt by all, many frightened and run outdoors. Some heavy furniture moved, a few instances of fallen plaster and damaged chimneys. Damage slight. Everybody runs outdoors. Damage negligible in buildings of good design and construction. Slight to moderate in well-built ordinary structures, considerable in poorly built or badly designed structures. Some chimneys broken. Noticed by persons driving cars. Damage slight in specially designed structures. Considerable in ordinary substantial buildings with partial collapse, great in poorly built structures. Panel walls thrown out of frame structures. Fall of chimneys, factory stacks, columns, monuments, walls. Heavy furniture overturned. Sand and mud ejected in small amounts. Changes in well water. Persons driving cars disturbed. Damage considerable in specially designed structures. Well designed frame structures thrown out of plumb. Great in substantial buildings, with partial collapse. Building shifted off foundations. Ground cracked. Conspicuously. Underground pipes broken. Some well-built wooden structures destroyed. 
Most masonry and frame structures destroyed with foundations, ground badly cracked. Rails bent. Landslides considerable. From river banks and steel slopes. Shifted sand and mud. Water splashed, slopped over banks. Few, if any, masonry, structures remain standing. Bridges destroyed. Broad fissures in ground. Underground pipelines completely out of service. Earth slumps and land slips in soft ground. Rails bent greatly. Damage total. Waves. Seen on ground surface. Lines of sight and level distorted. Objects thrown into the air. What group of animals was the first to make a partial transition from water to land? Amphibians have made a partial transition to terrestrial life. The living amphibians include newts, salamanders, frogs, and toads. Although lungfish made a partial transition to living out of the water, amphibians were the first to struggle onto land and become adapted to a life of breathing air while not constantly surrounded by water. What is the size and location of the heart? Heart size varies with body size. The average adult's heart is about 5.5 inches, 14 centimeters. Long and 3.5 inches, 9 centimeters, wide, or approximately the size of one's fist. The heart is located just above the diaphragm, between the right and left lungs. One third of the heart is located on the right side of the chest, while two thirds are located on the left side of the chest. How quickly do bacteria reproduce? Bacteria can reproduce very rapidly in favorable environments. In both laboratory cultures and natural habitats. The time required for a bacterial population to double is called generation time. For example, under optimal conditions, Escherichia coli can divide every 17 minutes. A laboratory culture started with a single cell can produce a colony of 107 to 108 bacteria in about 12 hours. What is barometric pressure and what does it mean? Barometric, or atmospheric, pressure is the force exerted on a surface by the weight of the air above that surface. As measured by an instrument called a barometer. Pressure is greater at lower levels because the air's molecules are squeezed under the weight of the air above. So while the average air pressure at sea level is 14.7 pounds per square inch, 1013.53 hectopascals, at 1000 feet, 304 meters, above sea level. 
the pressure drops to 14.1 pounds per square inch, 972.1 hectopascals, and at 18,000 feet, 5,486 meters. The pressure is 7.3 pounds, 503.32 hectopascals, about half of the figure at sea level. Changes in air pressure bring weather changes. High pressure areas bring clear skies and fair weather, low pressure areas bring wet or stormy weather. Areas of very low pressure have serious storms, such as hurricanes. Are tortoises and terrapins the same as turtles? The terms turtle, tortoise, and terrapin are used for various members of the order Testudinas. From the Latin term testudo, meaning tortoise. In North American usage they are all correctly called turtles. The term tortoise is often used for land turtles. In British usage the term tortoise is the inclusive term. And turtle is only applied to aquatic members of the order. Which disease is the deadliest? The most deadly infectious disease was the pneumonic form of the plague. The so-called Black Death of 1347 to 1351, with a mortality rate of 100%. Today, the disease with the highest mortality, almost 100%, is rabies in humans when it prevents the victim from swallowing water. This disease is not to be confused with being bitten by a rabid animal. With immediate attention, the rabies virus can be prevented from invading. The nervous system and the survival rate in this circumstance is 95%. AIDS, Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome First reported in 1981, is caused by HIV, the human immunodeficiency virus. In 1993, HIV infection was the most common cause of death among persons aged 25 to 44 years. In 1999 alone, 14,802 U.S. residents died from the AIDS-HIV infection. According to the National Center for Health Statistics, Although still a significant cause of death among persons aged 25 to 44, it is no longer the most common cause of death. Is assembly language the same thing as machine language? while the two terms are often used interchangeably. Assembly language is a more user-friendly translation of machine language. Machine language is the collection of patterns of bits. Recognized by a central processing unit, CPU, as instructions. Each particular CPU design has its own machine language. The machine language of the CPU of a microcomputer generally includes about 75 instructions. The machine language of the CPU of a large mainframe computer may include hundreds of instructions. 
Each of these instructions is a pattern of ones and zeros that tells the CPU to perform a specific operation. Assembly language is a collection of symbolic mnemonic names for each instruction in the machine language of its CPU. Like the machine language, the assembly language is tied to a particular CPU design. Programming in assembly language requires intimate familiarity with the CPU's architecture. And assembly language programs are difficult to maintain and require extensive documentation. The computer language C first developed in the late 1980s is a high-level pro programming language that can be compiled into machine languages for almost all computers. From microcomputers to mainframes, because of its functional structure. It was the first series of programs that allowed a computer to use higher-level language programs. And is the most widely used programming language for personal computer software development. C++ was first released in 1985 and is still widely used today. Are there any natural predators of gypsy moth caterpillars? About 45 kinds of birds, squirrels, chipmunks, and white-footed mice eat this serious insect pest. Among the 13 imported natural enemies of the moth, two flies, Compis luricincinata, Attachnid fly, and Sternius cutellata, parasitize the caterpillar. Other parasites and various wasps have also been tried as controls. As well as spraying and male sterilization. How much gasoline is wasted by underinflated tires? Underinflated tires waste as much as 1 gallon, 4.5 liters, out of every 20 gallons, 91 liters, of gasoline. To save fuel, follow the automaker's guidelines regarding recommended air pressure levels for the tires. However, greater fuel economy can be achieved by inflating tires to the maximum air. Pressure listed on the side wall of the tire, resulting in less rolling resistance. What are some environmental advantages to recycling electronics? Recycling 1 million desktop computers prevents the release of greenhouse gases equivalent to the annual emissions of 16,000 passenger cars. Recycling 1 million laptop computers saves the energy equivalent to the electricity used by 3,657 U.S. homes in one year. Recycling the 414,000 tons of electronics that were collected in the United States in 2007 prevented the release of greenhouse gases equivalent to the annual emissions of more than 178,000 cars. One metric ton of circuit boards can contain 40 to 800 times. The concentration of gold ore mined in the United States. One metric ton of circuit boards can contain 30 to 40 times. The concentration of copper ore mined in the United States.
recycling 1 million cell phones could recover 7,500 pounds, 3,402 kilograms of gold which could be used in new products rather than having to mine more gold. What is the color of lightning? The atmospheric conditions determine the color of lightning. Blue lightning within a cloud indicates the presence of hail. Red lightning within a cloud indicates the presence of rain. Yellow or orange lightning indicates a large concentration of dust in the air. White lightning is a sign of low humidity in the air. Are vitamin supplements necessary? Vitamin supplements may be a useful addition to the diet of individuals who do not receive all of the nutrients they need from their diet. These individuals cannot or do not eat enough of a variety of healthy foods. Who first proposed the Kingdom Protista? The German zoologist Ernst Haeckel, 1834-1919, first proposed the Kingdom Protista in 1866. For the newly discovered organisms that were neither plant nor animal. The term protest is derived from the Greek term protistos, meaning the very first. What types of coal are there? The first stage in the formation of coal converts peat into lignite, a dark brown type of coal. Lignite is then converted into subituminous coal as pressure from overlying materials increases. Under still greater pressure, a harder coal called bituminous, or soft, coal is produced. Intense pressure changes bituminous coal into anthracite, the hardest of all coals. What is the Christmas factor? In the clotting of blood, factor 9, or the Christmas factor, is a coagulation factor present in normal plasma. But deficient in the blood of persons with hemophilia B or Christmas disease. It was named after a man named Christmas who. In 1952, was the first patient in whom this genetic disease was shown to be distinct from hemophilia. Another genetic blood clotting disease in which the blood does not have factor 8. Who invented the barometer? A barometer is a device that measures air pressure. It was invented in 1644 by Evangelista Torricelli, 1608-1647. As a student of Galileo Galilei, 1564-1642, for a short time.
Torricelli was inspired by Galileo's observation that piston pumps can only lift water up 33 feet. About 10 meters, after which point it is impossible to pump the water any higher. Torricelli proposed that air had weight, and therefore, exerted pressure. He tested his theory by filling a dish with mercury, a liquid that is 13.6 times denser than water. A liquid that is denser than water allowed him to use a smaller quantity and a glass tube which was easier to manipulate. He then took a glass tube 4 feet, 1.2 meters, long glass tube that was open on one end, filled it with mercury, and turned it upside down with the open end beneath the surface of the mercury in the dish. Some, but not all of the mercury, flowed from the tube into the dish, 30 inches, 760 millimeters, remained. The only force that was able to support the mercury in the tube was the weight of the air exerting pressure on the mercury in the dish. The word barometer which means weight measure, from the Greek baros, meaning weight and metron. Meaning meter, was not coined until 1665 by Robert Boyle, 1627-1691. Boyle also changed the design for the barometer by using a shaped tube, thus eliminating the need for a mercury reservoir. The English physicist Robert Hooke, 1635-1703. Further improved on the barometer by creating an easy Toriad dial display. From where do frankincense and myrrh originate? Frankincense is an aromatic gum resin obtained by tapping. The trunks of trees belonging to the genus Boswellia. The milky resin hardens when exposed to the air, forming irregularly shaped granules, the form in which frankincense is usually marketed and sold. Also called olibanum, frankincense is used as an ingredient in many different products, including pharmaceuticals perfumes, fixatives, fumigants, and incense. Myrrh comes from a tree of the genus Comifora, native to the northeastern region of Africa and the Middle East. Myrrh is also a resin obtained from trees, it is used in pharmaceuticals, perfumes, and toothpastes. What is loca weed? The leguminous loco weeds or milk vetches, genera astragalus and oxytropes, have been a severe problem for ranchers in the western half of the United States and are considered to be some of the most toxic plants for horses, sheep, goats, and cattle. Loco is the Spanish word for crazy and refers to the staggering and trembling behavior of poisoned animals who walk into things and react to unseen objects. The poisonous compounds are an unusual group of alkaloids that affect certain Cells of the central nervous system, explaining the behavioral changes observed. Do pine trees keep their needles forever?
pine needles occur in groups, called fascicles, of 2 to 5 needles. A few species have only one needle per fascicle, while others have as many as eight. Regardless of the number of needles, a fascicle forms a cylinder of short shoots that are surrounded at their base by small scale-like leaves that usually fall off after one year of growth. The needle-bearing fascicles are also shed a few at a time, usually every two to ten years, so that any pine tree, while appearing evergreen, has a complete change of needles every two to four years of less. Are there any unsolved problems in mathematics? The earliest challenges and contests to solve important problems in Mathematics date back to the 16th and 17th centuries. Some of these problems have continued to challenge mathematicians until modern times. For example, Pierre de Fermat, 1601-1665, issued a set of mathematical challenges in 1657. Many on prime numbers and divisibility. The solution to what is now known as Fermat's last theorem was not established until the late 1990s by Andrew Wiles, 1953. David Hilbert, 1862-1943, a German mathematician, identified 23 unsolved problems in 1900 with the hope that these problems would be solved in the 21st century. Although some of the problems were solved, Others remain unsolved to this day. More recently, in 2000 the Clay Mathematics Institute named seven mathematical problems that had not been solved with the hope that they could be solved in the 21st century. A $1 million prize will be awarded for solving each of these seven problems. Do bacteria all have the same shape? Bacteria have three main shapes spherical, rod-shaped, and spiral. Spherical bacteria, known as cocci, occur singularly in some species and as groups in other species. Cocci have the ability to stick together and form a pair, diplococci, when they stick together in long chains. They are called streptococci. Irregularly shaped clumps or clusters of bacteria are called staphylococci. Rod-shaped bacteria, called bacilli, occur as single rods or as long chains of rods. Spiral or helical-shaped bacteria are called spirilla. What is the difference between zero gravity and microgravity? Zero gravity is the absence of gravity. A condition in which the effects of gravity are not felt, weightlessness. Microgravity is a condition of very low gravity, especially approaching weightlessness. On a spaceship, while in zero microgravity, objects would fall freely and float weightlessly. Both terms, however, are technically incorrect. 
the gravitation in orbit is only slightly less than the gravitation on Earth. A spacecraft and its contents continuously fall toward Earth. It is the spacecraft's immense forward speed that appears to make Earth's surface curve away as the vehicle falls toward it. The continuous falling seems to eliminate the weight of everything inside the spacecraft. For this reason, the condition is sometimes referred to as weightlessness or zero gravity. What is Lamarckian evolution? The French biologist Jean-Baptiste de Lamarck, 1744-1829, is credited as the first person to propose a theory that attempts to explain how and why evolutionary change occurs in living organisms. The mechanism Lamarck proposed is known as the inheritance of acquired characteristics. Meaning that what individuals experience during their lifetime will be passed along to their offspring as genetic traits. This is sometimes referred to as the theory of use and disuse. A classic example of this would be the giraffe's neck. Lamarckian evolution would predict that as giraffes stretch their necks to reach higher branches on trees, their necks grow longer. As a result, this increase in neck length will be transmitted to egg and sperm such that the offspring of giraffes whose necks have grown will also have long necks. While Lamarck's idea was analytically based on available data, giraffes have long necks and give birth to offspring with long necks as well, he did not know that. In general, environmental factors do not change genetic sequences in such a direct fashion. How is percent of increase calculated? To find the percent of increase, divide the amount of increase by the base amount. Multiply the result by 100%. For example, a raise in salary from $10,000 to $12,000 would have percent of increase equals 2,000 slash 10,000 x 100% equals 20%. When a person swallows solid or liquid food, what prevents it from going down the windpipe? Once food is chewed, Voluntary muscles move it to the throat. In the pharynx, throat, automatic, involuntary reflexes take over. The epiglottis closes over the larynx, voice box, which leads to the windpipe. A sphincter at the top of the esophagus relaxes, allowing the food to enter the digestive tract. Why don't woodpeckers get headaches? Woodpeckers' skulls are particularly sturdy to withstand the force of the blows as they hammer with their beaks. They are further aided by strong neck muscles to support their heads.
What was the first you? S National Park On March 1, 1872, an act of Congress signed by Ulysses S. Grant, 1822-1885, established Yellowstone National Park as the first national park. The action inspired a worldwide national park movement. When was the U.S.? How many leaves are on a mature tree? Leaves are one of the most conspicuous parts of a tree. A maple tree, genus Acer, with a trunk 3 feet, 1 meter, wide has approximately 100,000 leaves. Oak genus Quercus, trees have approximately 700,000 leaves. Mature American Elm, Ulmus Americana, trees can produce more than 5 million leaves per season. Are the stings of jellyfishes and Portuguese man-of-war fatal to humans? The stings of a jellyfish can be very painful and dangerous to humans, but they are generally not fatal. Most stings cause a painful, burning sensation that lasts for several hours. Welts and itchy skin rashes may also appear. Only the sting of the box jelly, or sea wasp, Chironex fleckery, can result in death in humans. The box jelly is the only jellyfish for which a life-saving, specific antidote exists. How much energy consumption in the United States is used by transportation? Transportation accounts for only 25% of the total energy consumption in the United States. Industries and buildings account for 42% and 33%, respectively. What is the P53 gene? Discovered in 1979, P53 sometimes referred to as the guardian angel of the genome is a gene that when a cell's DNA is damaged acts as an emergency brake to halt the resulting cycle of cell division that can lead to tumor growth and cancer. It also acts as an executioner. Programming damaged cells to self-destruct before their altered DNA can be replicated. However, when it mutates, P53 can lose its suppressive powers or have the devastating effect of actually promoting abnormal cell growth. Indeed, P53 is the most commonly mutated gene found in human tumors. Scientists have discovered a compound that could restore function to a mutant P53. Such a discovery may lead to the development of anti-cancer drugs targeting the mutant P53 gene. Environmental Protection Agency, EPA, classify carcinogens.
A carcinogen is an agent that can produce cancer. A malignant growth or tumor that spreads throughout the body, destroying tissue. The EPA classifies chemical and physical substances according to their toxicity to humans. Group A human carcinogen This classification indicates that there is sufficient evidence from Epidemiological studies to support a cause-effect relationship between the substance and cancer. Group B Probable human carcinogen B1, substances are classified as B1 carcinogens on the basis of sufficient evidence from animal studies, and limited evidence from epidemiological studies. B2 Substances are classified as B2 carcinogens on the basis of sufficient evidence from animal studies. With inadequate or non-existent epidemiological data. Group C possible human carcinogen for this classification. There is limited evidence of carcinogenicity from animal studies and no. Epidemiological data. Group D. Not classifiable as to human carcinogenicity the data from human. Epidemiological and animal studies are inadequate or completely lacking. So no assessment as to the substance's cancer-causing hazard is possible. Group E evidence of non-carcinogenicity for humans. Substances in this category have tested negative in at least two adequate, as defined by the EPA. Animal cancer tests in different species and inadequate 85 epidemiological and animal studies. Classification in Group E is based on available evidence. Substances may prove to be carcinogenic under certain conditions. The National Toxicology Program also has published a report on carcinogens, ROC. It identifies substances that are either known to be human, carcinogen or reasonably anticipated to be human carcinogen. The most recent ROC, the 11th, released in 2005, includes 246 entries. 58 of which are known to be human carcinogen and 188 which are reasonably anticipated to be human carcinogen. What is biodiversity? Biodiversity refers to genetic variability within a species. Diversity of populations of a species, diversity of species within a natural community. Or the wide array of natural communities and ecosystems throughout the world. Some scientists estimate that there may be between 15 and 100 million species throughout the world. Biodiversity is threatened at the present time more than at any other time in history. In the time since the North American continent was settled. As many as 500 plant and animal species have disappeared in North America. Some recent examples of threats to biodiversity in the United States include 50% of the United States no longer supports its original vegetation, in the Great Plains, 99% of the original prairies are gone. And across the United States, we destroy 100,000 acres of wetlands each year. What is a black hole?
when a star with a mass greater than about four times that of the sun collapses even the neutrons cannot stop the force of gravity. There is nothing to stop the contraction, and the star collapses forever. The material is so dense that nothing not even light can escape. The American physicist John Wheeler, 1911 to 2008, gave this phenomenon the name black hole in 1967. Since no light escapes from a black hole, it cannot be observed directly. However, if a black hole existed near another star, it would draw matter from the other star into itself and, in effect, produce X-rays. In the constellation of Cygnus, there is a strong X-ray source named Cygnus X1. It is near a star. And the two revolve around each other. The unseen X-ray source has the gravitational pull of at least 10 suns and is believed to be a black hole. Another type of black hole, a primordial black hole, may also exist dating from the time of the Big Bang. When regions of gas and dust were highly compressed. Recently, astronomers observed a brief pulse of X-rays from Sagittarius A. A region near the center of the Milky Way galaxy. The origin of this pulse and its behavior led scientists to conclude that there is probably a black hole in the center of our galaxy. There are four other possible black holes, a Schwarzschild black hole has no charge and no angular momentum. A Reusner Nordstrom black hole has charge but seven no angular momentum. A Kerr black hole has angular momentum but no charge, and a Kerr Newman black hole has charge and angular momentum. What are the major oceans? Most geographers have recognized four major oceans Pacific, Atlantic, Indian, and Arctic for many years. In 2000, the International Hydrographic Organization, an intergovernmental organization, dedicated to safety in navigation and support of the marine environment, delimited a fifth ocean called the Southern Ocean. The Southern Ocean extends from the coast of Antarctica to 60 degrees south latitude. It encompasses portions of the Atlantic, Indian, and Pacific Oceans. What are some animals that have pouches? Marsupials, meaning pouched animals, differ from all other living mammals in their anatomical and physiological features of reproduction. Most female marsupials, including kangaroos, bandicoots, Wombats, banded anteaters, koalas, possums, wallabies, and Tasmanian devils possess an abdominal pouch, called a marsupium, in which their young are carried. In some small terrestrial marsupials, however, the marsupium is not a true pouch but merely a fold of skin around the mammy milk nipples. The short gestation period in marsupials, in comparison to other similarly sized mammals, allows their young to be born in an undeveloped state. Consequently, 
these animals have been viewed as primitive or second-class mammals. However, some now see that the reproductive process of marsupials has an advantage over that of placental mammals. A female marsupial invests relatively few resources during the brief gestation period. More so during the lactation, nursing period, when the young are in the marsupium. If the female marsupial loses its young, it can conceive again sooner than a placental mammal in a comparable situation. How is dry ice made? Dry ice is a solid form of carbon dioxide, CO2. Used primarily to refrigerate perishables that are being transported from one location to another. The carbon dioxide, which at normal temperatures is a gas, is stored and shipped as a liquid in tanks that are pressurized at 1,073 pounds per square inch. To make dry ice, the carbon dioxide liquid is withdrawn from the tank and allowed to evaporate at a normal pressure in a porous bag. This rapid evaporation consumes so much heat that part of the liquid CO2 freezes to a temperature of minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit minus 78 degrees Celsius. The frozen liquid is then compressed by machines into blocks of dry ice. Which will melt into a gas again when set out at room temperature. It was first made commercially in 1925 by the Pressed Air Devices Company of Long Island City. New York, through the efforts of Thomas Benton Slate. It was used by Schraffs of New York in July 1925 to keep ice cream from melting. The first large sale of dry ice was made later in that year to Brayer Ice Cream Company of New York. Although used mostly as a refrigerant or coolant, other uses include medical procedures such as freezing warts, blast cleaning, freeze branding animals, and creating special effects for live performances and films. Which blood type is the rarest? The rarest blood type is Bombay blood, subtype HH found only in a Czechoslovakian nurse in 1961 and in a brother and sister with the surname Jalbert living in Massachusetts in 1968. Is there a name for the heart monitoring machine that people sometimes wear for a day or two while carrying on their normal activities? A portable version of the electrocardiograph, ECG, designed by J. J. Holter is called a Holter monitor. Electrodes attached to the chest are linked to a small box containing a recording device. The device records the activity of the heart. What causes sinkholes?
A sinkhole is a depression shaped like a well or funnel that occurs in a land surface. Most common in limestone regions, sinkholes are usually formed by the dissolving action of groundwater or the seepage of above ground streams into the limestone below, causing cracks or fractures in subterranean rock. The collapse of cave roofs can also cause large sinkholes or landslides. The resulting depression may be several miles in diameter. Who was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize? Marie Curie was the first woman to receive the Nobel Prize. She received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1903 for her work on radioactivity in collaboration with her husband. Pierre Curie, 1859-1906, and A. H. Becquerel, 1852-1908, the 1903 prize in physics was shared by all three individuals. Marie Curie was also the first person to be awarded two Nobel Prizes and is one of only two individuals who have been awarded a Nobel Prize in two different fields. What is the difference between science and technology? Science and technology are related disciplines, but have different goals. The basic goal of science is to acquire a fundamental knowledge of the natural world. Outcomes of scientific research are the theorems, laws, and equations that explain the natural world. It is often described as a pure science. Technology is the quest to solve problems in the natural world with the ultimate goal of improving humankind's control of their environment. Technology is, therefore, often described as applied science, applying the laws of science to specific problems. The distinction between science and technology blurs since many times researchers Investigating a scientific problem will discover a practical application for the knowledge they acquire. What are the transition elements? The transition elements are the 10 subgroups of elements between group 2 and group 13. Starting with period 4. They include gold, O, element 79, silver, AG, element 47. Platinum, PT, element 78, iron, Fe, element 26, copper, CU, element 29, and other metals. All transition elements are metals. Compared to alkali and alkaline earth metals, they are usually harder and more brittle and have higher melting points. Transition metals are also good conductors of heat and electricity. They have variable valences, and compounds of transition elements are often colored. Transition elements are so named because they comprise a gradual shift from the strongly electropositive elements of groups I and II to the electronegative elements of groups VI and VII.
How does minimally invasive surgery differ from traditional, major, open surgery? Traditional, major, open surgery requires a major incision in the body, often several inches long. Allowing surgeons to physically place their hands inside the body to work. In minimally invasive surgery. The incision is very small and surgeons do not place their hands inside the body. Using a laparoscope. A narrow wand containing a video camera. Surgeons are able to insert tools into tiny surgical openings to remove diseased tissue. Laparoscopy was introduced in the 1970s for gynecological treatment and gallbladder removal. At least half of all surgeries are now minimally invasive, laparoscopic or arthroscopic. With a wide range of applications gallbladder removal, appendix removal, hernia repair, gynecological, colon removal, partial lung removal, spleen removal, and surgery for chronic heartburn or reflux disease. How many eggs does a spider lay? The number of eggs varies according to the species. Some larger spiders lay over 2,000 eggs. But many tiny spiders lay one or two and perhaps no more than a dozen during their lifetime. Spiders of average size probably lay a hundred or so. Most spiders lay all their eggs at one time and enclose them in a single egg sac. Others lay eggs over a period of time and enclose them in a number of egg sacs. What plants are commonly used in the perfume industry? Perfumes are made of a mixture of a large variety of scents. Although many perfumes are created synthetically, the expensive designer scents still use natural essential oils extracted from plants. The perfume industry uses all parts of the plant to create a unique blend of scents. Can meningitis be prevented? The introduction and widespread use of Haemophilus influenza type B and Streptococcus pneumoniae. Conjugated vaccines has dramatically reduced the incidence of meningitis caused by these bacteria. In 2005, the Centers for Disease Control recommended routine vaccination of adolescents and college freshmen with the new meningococcal vaccine, which prevents four types of meningococcal disease caused by the bacteria Neisseria meningitides. What are the components of a computer? Computers have two major components, the hardware and the software. Hardware consists of all the physical devices needed to actually build and operate a computer. Examples of computer hardware are the central processing unit, CPU. 
hard drive, memory, modems, and external devices such as the keyboard, monitor, printers, scanners, and other devices that can be physically touched. Software is an integral part of a computer and consists of the various computer programs that allow the user to interact with it and specify the tasks the computer performs. Without software, a computer is merely a collection of circuits and metal in a box unable to perform even the most basic functions. How is the rule of 70 used? This rule is a quick way of estimating the period of time it will take a quantity to double given the percentage of increase. Divide the percentage of increase into 70. For example, if a sum of money is invested at 6% interest, the money will double in value in 76 equals 11.7 years. What is the matrix in blood? Blood is a loose connective tissue whose matrix is a liquid called plasma. Blood consists of red blood cells, erythrocytes, white blood cells, leukocytes, and platelets, thrombocytes, which are tiny pieces of bone marrow cell. Plasma also contains water, salts, sugars, lipids, and amino acids. Blood is approximately 55% plasma and 45% formed elements. How does water move up a tree? Water is carried up a tree through the xylem tissue in a process called transpiration. Constant evaporation from the leaf creates a flow of water from root to shoot. The roots of a tree absorb the vast majority of water that a tree needs. The properties of cohesion and adhesion allow the water to move up a tree regardless of its height. Cohesion allows the individual water molecules to stick together in one continuous stream. Adhesion permits the water molecules to adhere to the cellulose molecules in the walls of xylem cells. When the water reaches a leaf, water is evaporated thus allowing additional water molecules to be drawn up through the tree. How much saliva does a person produce in a day? Saliva is a mixture of mucus, water, salts, and the enzymes that break down carbohydrates. Awake individuals secrete saliva at a rate of approximately 0.5 milliliters per minute. Or an average of 480 milliliters of saliva in a 16-hour waking day. Various activities such as exercise, eating, drinking, and speaking increase salivary volume. What are the only mammals that cannot jump?
it might not be surprising to learn that neither the rhinoceros nor the elephant can jump. Since their enormous weight makes the feet difficult. However, the third mammal that cannot jump is the pronghorn sheep. Which was called an antelope in the famous song Home on the Range. The pronghorn sheep's inability to jump has been a particular disadvantage in its North American home. Where fences have prevented populations from migrating and hindered the pronghorn's ability to find mates and breed. Which insect has the best sense of smell? Giant male silk moths may have the best sense of smell in the world. They can smell a female's perfume nearly 7 miles, 11 kilometers, away. What problems may be encountered when polyvinyl chloride, PVC, plastics are burned? Chlorinated plastics, such as PVC, contribute to the formation of hydrochloric acid gases. They also may be a part of a mix of substances containing chlorine that form a precursor to dioxin in the burning process. Polystyrene, polyethylene, and polyethylene terephthalate, PET, do not produce these pollutants. How much fluid do the kidneys remove from the blood? The kidneys filter about 48 gallons, 182 liters of blood daily and produce about 4 ounces of filtrate per minute. About 1.5 to 2 quarts 1.4 to 1.9 liters of urine is eventually excreted per day. The entire blood supply is filtered through the kidneys 60 times per day. The kidneys in a person living 73 years filter almost 1.3 million gallons of blood. What caused the Chernobyl accident? The worst nuclear power accident in history, which occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in the Ukraine, will affect, in one form or another, 20% of the republic's population, 2.2 million people. On April 26, 1986, at 1.23 and 40 seconds a.m., during unauthorized experiments by the operators in which safety systems were deliberately circumvented in order to learn more about the plant's operation. One of the four receipt tours rapidly overheated and its water coolant flashed into steam. The hydrogen formed from the steam reacted with the graphite moderator to cause two major explosions and a fire. The explosions blew apart the 1,000 ton, 907 metric ton, lid of the reactor and released radioactive debris high into the atmosphere. It is estimated that 50 tons of fuel went into the atmosphere. An additional 70 tons of fuel and 700 tons of radioactive 
reactor graphite settled in the vicinity of the damaged unit. Human error and design features, such as a positive void coefficient type of reactor, use of graphite in construction, and lack of a containment building, are generally cited as the causes of the accident. 31 people died from trying to stop the fires. More than 240 others sustained severe radiation sickness. Eventually 150,000 people living near the reactor were relocated. Some of whom may never be allowed to return home. Fallout from the explosions, containing radioactive isotope cesium-137, was carried by the winds westward across Europe. The problems created by the Chernobyl disaster are overwhelming and continue today. Particularly troubling is the fact that by 1990 to 1991, a five-fold increase had occurred in the rate of thyroid cancers in children in Belarus. A significant rise in general morbidity has also taken place. Among children in the heaviest hit areas of Gomel and Mojalev. How is the age of a fish determined? One way to determine the age of a fish is by its scales, which have growth rings just as trees do. Scales have concentric bony ridges or circuli, which reflect the growth patterns of the individual fish. The portion of the scale that is embedded in the skin contains clusters of these ridges. Called annuli, each cluster marks one year's growth cycle. What is the largest rainforest? The Amazon basin is the world's largest continuous tropical rainforest. It covers about 2.7 million square miles, 6.9 million square kilometers. Is DNA always copied exactly? Considering how many cells there are in the human body and how often it occurs. DNA replication is fairly accurate. Spontaneous damage to DNA is low occurring at the rate of 1 to 100 mutations per 10 billion cells in bacteria. The rate for eukaryotic genes is higher, about 1 to 10 mutations per million gametes. The rate of mutation can vary according to different genes in different organisms. How do fossils form? Fossils are the preserved remains of once living organisms. Fossils form rarely. Since an organism is usually consumed totally or scattered by scavengers after death. If the structures remain intact, Fossils can be preserved in amber, hardened tree sap. Siberian permafrost, dry caves, or rock. Rock fossils are the most common. In order to form a rock fossil, three things must happen, 
the organism must be buried in sediment the hard. Structures must mineralize the sediment surrounding the fossil must harden and become rock. What is reflexology? Reflexology is the application of specific pressures to reflex points in the hands and feet. The reflex points relate to every organ and every part of the body. Massaging of the reflex points is done to prevent or cure diseases. Believed to have been used in Asian cultures as long as 2000 years ago. Reflexology was introduced to the United States at the turn of the century by Dr. William Fitzgerald, 1872-1942, and Eunice D. Ingham, 1889-1974. Today nearly 25. 000 certified practitioners can be found throughout the world. What was the first technical report written in English? Geoffrey Chaucer's, 1343-1400, Treatise on the Astrolabe was written in 1391. What is hydroponics? This term refers to growing plants in some medium other than soil, the inorganic plant nutrients. Such as potassium, sulfur, magnesium, and nitrogen, are continuously supplied to the plants in solution. Hydroponics is mostly used in areas where there is little soil or unsuitable soil. Since it allows precise control of nutrient levels and oxygenation of the roots. It is often used to grow plants used for research purposes. Julius von Sachs, 1832-1897, a researcher in plant nutrition, pioneered modern hydroponics. Research plants have been grown in solution culture since the mid-1800s. William Garrick, 1882-1970, a scientist at the University of California. Defined the word hydroponics in 1937. In the 50 years that hydroponics has been used on a commercial basis, it has been adapted to many situations. NASA will be using hydroponics in the space station for crop production and to recycle carbon dioxide into oxygen. Although successful for research, hydroponics has many limitations and may prove frustrating for the amateur gardener.